Hello, and welcome to another tutorial video project. In this video, we will be designing an IoT based greenhouse project. It can monitor the soil moisture level, the air humidity and the temperature of the greenhouse. It can also automatically control these parameters by pumping more water into the soil through an underground pump network, making the air of the plant more humid using a humidifier, and controlling the temperature through ventilation fans. Without much delay, let us get to how this was done step by step. Kindly, like and subscribe to this channel to encourage us make more videos like this. First, we begin with the schematic diagram of the project design. This is built the famous and low-cost node MCU development board. This is the brain of the project design. See the blog post in the description below for more explanation on the circuit diagram. We soldered the components according to the circuit diagram as shown, then we assembled and placed it in this 3x6 box. All the components were neatly aligned and those outside of this casing were connected through header wires. Openings were made and programming port made available for modification of source code. Please see the link in the description below for free download of the source code and schematic diagram. The greenhouse model was fabricated from a transparent plastic box. It was modeled in such a way that vents were created to allow air passage. Two DC fans were placed on the adjacent sides. This will serve as the extractor fan and the air inlet fan. To control the humidity in the model, a humidifier is mounted at the center of the model. This will automatically in user-based input, control the rate of humid air plants leaves are exposed to. We used a plastic container to serve as a reservoir tank. The underground tubes are ran on the model from this tank to ensure water is available to the soil when the DC pump is pumping water. Alongside with the soil moisture level sensor, the digital humidity and temperature sensor, this is connected to the node MCU in the 3x6 box outside the greenhouse model. To make the roof of the greenhouse model, we use the clear plastic glass material shown here. This allowed for more sun and led into the model and it also allowed us to see the state of the plants in the greenhouse model. The reservoir is important to ensure the soil is well hydrated. Without this reservoir, there won't be water for the DC pump to irrigate the soil when it is dried up. The project design runs on two modes, the automatic mode is when the design can sense the parameters by its and respond based on its set algorithms. For example, when we test for the soil moisture being dry, the DC pump automatically kicks in to ensure that the plant's roots gets enough water to grow. Also the auto mode testing is when the greenhouse is dry and the system automatically activates the humidifier to make the place more humid. The DC fans are spontaneously turned on to circulate and ensure air is let in and out of the model greenhouse. This would in turn control the temperature around the plants in the greenhouse project. This is how we control the temperature of the greenhouse. The fan coming on is programmed to start at a particular temperature sensed by the DHT22 sensor. 
The underground irrigation pipes are networked under the soil level. The pipes are perforated making them act as sprinklers when the 5 volts DC pump start pumping water into the soil. This is controlled by the soil moisture sensor, it tells the microcontroller when to irrigate the soil and when not to. Our humidifier is controlled by the DHT22 sensor, it tells the node MCU when to turn on the humidifier and when not to. All of these knitches and how they affect the parameters can be remotely monitored on the IoT dashboard of the Blink app. Here, we can monitor what the temperature is, the humidity of the plant's greenhouse, and the soil water PR moisture level. Now, let's remotely control the greenhouse via Blink IoT dashboard. When we toggle the switch button for the humidifier, we can see that it will make the humidifier be turned on at the physical end of the greenhouse model. temperature switch button, would make the DC fans come on when it is toggled on. The pump switch buttons, also complies to this same rule. Although we may not see the water sprinkling under the soil level, we can see as the soil moisture sensor returns an increase in the value of the water level in the soil. Although be warned, the soil moisture sensor may not be linear as you expect it to be. But for a model prototype it was good to go. And hence we come to the end of the testing phase for the IoT based greenhouse project model. We can monitor and control the greenhouse parameters like temperature, humidity, and soil moisture level remotely from anywhere in the globe. Although the greenhouse model need internet for this, this means that the Node MCU would need a Wi-Fi access to do this. Let us know in the blog comments if you need help with any stage building this project model. Don, do forget to like, share and subscribe to know you enjoyed this video. Also drop a comment in this video if you have an idea what we should make next. Thank you for watching.